Hello, wonderful, amazing video game type people, and welcome back to Battle Brothers. Alrighty. Okay, we have a lot of stuff. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's see, we'd better equip some people. Actually, okay, so it's been a couple days. Has it been a couple days? Maybe it's been one day. Two days, three days. Oh yes, it's been the weekend. It has been the weekend, and I don't remember what's going on. Sadness, I should have watched the end of the video before starting up. I get the sense that there's another fight on the horizon here. I think we just had a fight. We've come out of it. We're on our way down to Grafenhaven, but I do hope that when I load, or, or sorry, when I unpause the game, we're not going to just instantly fall into another fight. So what I will do is prepare ourselves. Wow, we have an insane amount of everything that we could possibly ever want. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is our newest cleaver. Does a decent chunk of damage. Alright. Okay, okay. Arming sword. Arming sword. Yes. Okay. So flails and arming swords seems to be the watchword of the day. I like the fighting axe a lot and I'd like to throw that on somebody. But who knows. Let's quickly take a look here. Right. Okay. Okay. This guy's got flails. He's just gonna have an easier time of hitting someone. He's got quick hands. So we can change him up like that. Yeah, our Warbrander is just stoked for that. Okay. Quick hands here as well. That's quite alright. No quick hands, but he does have taunt. And a decent shield skill. I don't know. Should he have an arming sword? Maybe he should. I mean, there's, uh, there's quite the damage difference there, so... Maybe we'll throw that arming sword on, you keep that repaired. I don't know if I like the Morning Stars, we're gonna, we're gonna hold on to them for now, but that's not what we're gonna switch into. We do, of course, have the basic male shirt. Do we have tools? Hopefully we do. Alright. Hmm. Who should get the basic male shirt? Somebody should, should get it. 110. 95. Um, I kind of want to put it on this guy. Let's call it a day. Let's let's go with that. Then we can throw that here, I suppose. And then these can switch out for some of this back row junk. There we go. That's all right then. So we got 70 across the board in the back here. We've got 80 on the two flanks. And. This looks acceptable for now. We will switch it out for these in time. Helmets look all in good repair. Yes, sir. Helmets are all in good repair. Okay. So we got decent swords there. I guess nothing else. I, I would love to get that, you know, let that axe see some action. So maybe we'll do that for now. Because I kind of feel compelled to let the axe see some action. It inflicts a crazy amount of, of armor damage. And inflicts an additional 50% damage on a hit to the head. So, you know. You know how it is. That looks like a good time. I just check to see that all the ranged weapons are indeed loaded with what they ought to be loaded with. Yeah, this guy needs to be out of the action for a while. So, I think we're ready to keep trucking. Really, we're a little bit... We need to make some room for new items. I guess this guy could be kind of a mule. We could pack a couple items on him so that we don't have to throw away as many arrows or quivers. That's what we were thinking about, right? We're going to throw quivers away. Alright, well. Get that worn male shirt on him for now. Sure, get a get a nice old helmet. Get the good stuff on him, you know. And sure, take the arming sword. Yep. And I guess the war brand. Well, no, the war brands. Poor guy. Alright. So I got 84 out of 90, less stuff that we have to throw away. All good things getting repaired. Okay, we, we do have a fight right here, a brigand leader. Brigand marksman, some brigand raiders, and a brigand leader. That looks okay. Not really a fan of the whole brigand marksman thing, but if we... Uh, I think we can do this. Now if we are going up against brigands... Hmm. Hmm. I uh, I get the sense that we should just go for it. I don't know if we should switch him to a flail. I don't know. I kind of don't want to. 
Just because I know that the flail is the obvious way to go because of shields and things like that, but that fighting axe is so beautiful. I'd love to try it out. So, down we go. Oh, that's it. We're just gonna we're just gonna rush into it. Alright, we're rushing into it. That's it. Oh man, we need to get to that city. Alright, so they're gonna massacre the caravan. Looks like the caravan has a few guards left. Oh boy. Let's wait. Let's wait. We're going to go forward with the front row. Because we're not crazy. Not that crazy, anyways. I don't like the... Uh, I don't like the way that looks. You know, I, I really don't like the way that looks. We need to try and, and gain some ground here without... Exhausting our lads. Well, alright then. Yeah, we can't afford to exhaust them too much. In all fairness, we still have the superiority of ranged weapons, so maybe we set up a line here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We're gonna have to see. Now the sad thing is I have another party that I've been playing with just on the side, and they're all Pathfinders, so they would have a lot easier time of this. We, unfortunately, have chosen not to be Pathfinders, and are paying the price for it. Yeah, also I want to kind of give everyone dodge. I didn't realize dodge was so good. There they come. Brigand Raider, inspired by nearby leader. So there's that. Oh, that donkey's getting a, a little bit of a beating down there. Hmm. Again, we'll wait with these guys. Can you hit someone? You cannot. Okay. I kind of like the idea of setting up here. I feel like that might actually work. Yeah, we're just going to wait with our entire battalion of brothers. Everyone wait. Okay, they're not they're not moving forward at all. Shoot. Ah, shoot. I really I don't know what to do now. Do we want to do that? Not really. Just hang out. Yeah, just hang out. Maybe even fall back or something. I don't know. I only see that because I, I, I like I like what we have going here. Remember, there's only one enemy. So let's just let's just stand and wait. Oh boy. All right, so there's one caravan guard. Oh, okay. Okay. I just, I really like what we've got going with the archers. Like, that's a that's a nasty bro I wouldn't want to deal with. And then as they come forward, we can move forward. And I think, I think there's enough guys here that we could take out an archer too. I do need them to actually come forward though, if they're not going to. Alright. This is our last turn. If they, if they, if they don't charge forward, we're going to maybe move. <laughs> So much commitment in that phrase right there. We're going to maybe move. That's how we do. Oh, for goodness sakes, man. Well, the nice thing is they've recovered. We better go forward with somebody who has a shield. Oh, 
Oh boy, okay. Maybe we'll try that. Yep. Well, we found our archer fellow. Are we going to be able to take him out? I don't know. I genuinely don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We might be able to take him out. But that's going to be a really tough sell. That's going to be a really tough sell. We might have to take one round of actually getting shot at proper, and that's going to suck. Ugh. Okay. Well, he could move here, for sure. You know what? Put your shield wall up. I expect they're going to start moving down. Not quite, eh? Almost. So close. There we go. Aramis. Oh, I thought for sure. I think he can, though. I'm pretty sure he can shoot from there. Alright. Are they not going to start? If they have just the one marksman, and I'm sure that's what they have, then this should almost sort of work if we can just tiptoe forward one more. Maybe I should have shield walled with them. Alright, they're, they're actually coming down now, it looks like. Okay, so I didn't like that, but we knew it was going to happen. Now, we're going to have to run forward. Sure. Let's see if we can't just charge forward, I guess. Yeah, this is going this is going to get really nasty. There's our dreaded lean hard. It looks like they're still actually charging to the left, so we might be able to make this work and take the high ground somehow. Oh gosh, okay. Hmm. Maybe we do something like that. Oh, you're kidding. Come on. Well, okay, this is okay. They're... they're <laughs> Okay, there we go. This is now officially super awkward. Oh, we just we can't even shoot at him. That irks me, man. That irks me. Just charge straight up. Get up there, go. Run, go for the go for the best. Go for what you can. Uh, would he be able to? I doubt these guys would be able to get get us. So there. Oh, you were supposed to hit. We've sort of scattered our line, and I don't like that. Which is why we must sort of re regain the line here. Okay. And maybe from there he can shoot up? I'm not sure. Yeah, sort of. He's he's. Does he not have a heavier crossbow? No, he's got the heavier crossbow. It's still a decent place for Baldomar to be. Certainly. Even though he may not be an Aramis. Siegwold. Yeah, I'm sort of okay with that. Thirty-five. Yeah, take that shot. Okay. That's what I figured. I think we can end the turn, and hopefully we're good enough that we can kind of take him out somewhat next turn and hope the best. 
Weedle Rick. Agil. Oh. Yeah, I'm worried about what's going on here. Oh, he's just gonna run away. That, that bugger. Blocks movement and line of sight. Does it block his line of sight? Probably not, hey? He's just gonna hide safely. We're gonna kill that poor caravan donkey and I have to listen to it. Oh, joy. 6%? Are you kidding me right now? Sigmund, switch it up. Ugh. Okay. Baldemar. 13. Why is it so low? What, uh... Is it the shield walls? Are they armed with shield? Line of fire blocked. Armed with shield. Yeah. That straight up sucks. Oh, no. It's Aramis. Try to push him. See what you can accomplish. Nothing. That's fine, I guess. Hmm. Hugo looks like he might be able to accomplish something here. Certainly. Uh, take out a shield. That works for me. We should be able to actually kill him now. Okay. Rumold here can happily, you know, take shots anyways. Funny, but the 29% guy seems to be the one we're going to go for. Javelins, 20, 5, 15. Ugh. Alright. We can actually aim with this guy. 29, 5, yeah. Oh, this has me so nervous. Yeah, he's just gonna throw. Hopefully no overwhelm or anything of the like. Um, you know what? That strikes me as an acceptable place to position ourselves. 45, yeah, let's try it. Doesn't quite work. Alright, now this here should work. That worked. Solid. I I am tempted to make a kind of run for it, you know? Yeah, I'll put you here. And use him to try and run for that marksman. I don't know if it'll work. It very well might not work. Oh, I should have reloaded with him, man. I should have reloaded. Uh, okay. Okay. It looks like this is our sort of awkward battle line here. I don't really want to engage dreaded lean heart. Run for the brigand marksman, maybe, probably not. Oh, that's not great for Hugo. That's really not great for Hugo. The nice thing is they too are scattered. So there's that whole thing. He's going to put up a shield wall because he's already taking a little bit of damage. Sure. Put up a shield wall with him. Nothing with this guy. He's he's already. Oh no. They're gonna execute that guy. Oh, right here. Oh, they did go for Hugo. Yeah, so he's gonna take advantage of any little mess ups like that that I make. Five, thirteen, fifteen. Ugh. Alright, at least we hit. You know what? Done. Done. That's it. I'm not taking any more of that. Oh my goodness, that poor caravan donkey. Guys, stop being so cruel to animals. Okay. We have engagement. This guy's a priority. There's no other way to put that. What we're going to do here, of course, is switch to the old pitchfork. Might not seem like the best bet, but I like that. I like those odds. Aramis could, you know, start coming forward a little bit. Oh, man. Overwhelm times two. Overwhelm. That was crazy. How did he manage to overwhelm two guys at the same time? A little bit odd. All right. That's fine. I think we can handle this. 43, eh? What are we saying? Are we saying two hits? Oh, he's got repost. All right. Put up your own shield wall and wait. 
31, 5. Hmm. What does Wolf have? And is it acceptable at all? It might very well not be. 31 is pretty decent, though. We could take two 31s here. Yep. That's one. That's two. I'm okay with that. He needs to switch. Does he have quick hands? He should. And we'll just chill with him there. Now that, I think, is acceptable. And he does have quick hands, so let's do that. We're breaking formation, but they're so far off. It's really just a few of us kicking around here. Now, I don't think I can throw because we have a guy adjacent, so we're going to switch to the flail and, and go for that. Yeah. I figured that would work. All right. Meanwhile, back at the base, I think we can just hack away at this fella. One. Well, yeah, it was worth a shot. Okay, we don't have to worry about him getting shot at anymore, so we could try to move forward with these lads. We're definitely going to want to engage him with our axe brother here. He's he's in an awkward position. I like I like that. That makes me really quite pleased. This punch. Yes, that also makes me pleased. This suddenly gets so much nicer when we don't have to worry about the uh, marksman anymore. It's amazing how much one rogue enemy archer can just change your plans. Okay. Everything here seems fine. Is he still? He's still in repost though, so... Tempted not to. Hmm. I don't know. What's 57? Well, let's do it. Yep, see? Shouldn't have done it. Should have trusted my instincts. Because he's still gonna have to... We still have to deal with these guys. Uh, no. No. Gotta be a little bit careful with him. There goes the donkey. You guys are monsters. Yeah, go for it. And he's coming to join. Alright, meanwhile back at the base camp. Bye bye head. You'll pause and wait. Okay. We'll wait here because we're going to move down here and then move forward with him, I believe is what we're going to do. Let's try to deliver some death blows. I could have moved up with him. Okay, so he's just going to happily switch there. 44, 48. Ooh, 48. Well, fine. We'll try the 48. Fail. I guess if we are going to move forward with everybody else, let's just... Yeah, let's just try to pick them apart. Why do they get to go first so much, you know? Stupid. Ugh. One. Frick, I'm almost like, yeah, just push that guy off. Um. Sure. Let's do that and hope that we can finish him off a little bit. Here, yeah. I'm happy with that. Wolf. I guess we do kind of want to block off this area a little bit. Hmm. Mr. 49. Well, if anything, yeah, that's, that's kind of what I want to do with him here. I don't like his low armor, though. So maybe that was a bad idea. Shield wall, yep. Yeah. Alright, well he's wrecked. His day's definitely been messed up. I get the sense we could destroy his shield. Or at the very least, encourage him to attack us with his armed sword, I guess. How good is Eggle? Is he, he's alright. Eggle's got some defense to him, so we might be able to pull this off. We shall do this, and... Oh gosh. Shove him down. 44%. Try to take out his shield. Might not work, but it'll take part of it out. Or we can just taunt him. It says 17% chance to hit, and I find that so weird. Because I don't think that's the actual case. Alright. That does mean you can happily move here for some really nice hits in the next round. Okay. Baldemar. 
well, could he move down here? Is what I'm thinking, right? And then I actually get some hits off? Or should we... Well, we should load at least one person up. 16, 5, 5. Ugh. Slowly advancing, slowly but surely. Okay, and he could actually take that out. So that would be okay. Hmm. If he's going to attack the taunted guy anyways, we might as well move in on him. He can go 1-2 there. I like that. Though, he should be on the edge because I think he's a little bit banged up. Yep. Yes, sir. I really hope that taunt works. We'll find out if leaders are immune. Hopefully they are not. Alright, he's coming nice and slowly, too. I like that. They've wasted themselves, is what that looks like. Okay, it's our turn now. And... I don't know. I don't fully know. I think we'll wait. I think that's what we're going to do. Meanwhile, back here, let's try to do some damage. That sucks. It just feels really ineffective. Yes, we can do that. Again, we'll wait. I want to kill him this turn. So there's one, there's two. Okay. Let's see if we can't get rid of this guy. And it's nice that they're not coming down here, because that guy was pretty banged up. Do we want to take out his shield? I'd say yes. Yes, we do. Oh, we didn't. Dag nab it. We really could with Eggo. We could even push him down, but I like his position. Oh, 51. If we took out his shield and then everyone just laid into him. These two guys ignore the shield, though, so maybe it's not so important. Just, I, and I only say that because that axe could deliver some decent damage. Alright, he's dead. Let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's dig into him now. One. Two. One. Oh, you're kidding. Oof. No time for that. No time for that now. My boys are too tired. No. I'm almost not. Yeah, I guess. I guess we would be with all this hill. Hill, hill business. Hill monkey business here. I wonder if we could push him. And would that be good for us? I guess not. Let's try to just take out his shield. Oh, you're kidding. That's the money maker. One, two. Okay, well, we hit him a couple times. He's going to put up a fight, this guy. Okay, I don't know if we're going to be able to uh, do this quite so perfectly. I definitely don't like his war brand. And now that he's here, we have problems. He's significantly less of a problem. Let's see if we can't actually hurt him. Booze him up a bit. Hmm. Yeah, Baldemar can just move up. Uh, there's Rumold. Guys, no. Repost and switch. Interesting. I did not see that coming. But it panned out for us. Oh, for sure. Mm, it looks like it's going to have to be a wolf who takes that step and somebody has to take it so oof it is his armor's almost gone so that's quite wonderful 
We're going to continue advancing forward on him. Here I do think we get two, two nice hits. Okay, we're through. He's exhausted, luckily, so we don't have to worry too much. Eh, everybody's exhausted. This has been one heck of an exhausting fight. I guess we could try for that. He can chill there. Ah, uh, yeah, take a step down. He might be able to pull something off later. He can still move and hit. Move and hit from there, too. I, yeah, okay, he won't be able to move and hit from there, so that sucks. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. We're going to quickly run through these guys. What is he doing? I think he's running. Can we stop him? I just don't want to let him get away. My pride, you know. A man's got pride. Alright, that looks acceptable. And of course we're going to come around with Baldemar as well to offer support. And here we're just going to keep beating away on him. There, that was his nine lives, so he just needs one more good hit. Bye-bye. Alrighty. One moment. Alrighty. So he's dead. Now we just got this guy. We're being stubborn. We want him dead too. Hmm. So we'll just inch forward. I think most of these guys aren't going to get a chance. There we go. Oh, can he? Yeah, okay. And here we go. So, I don't know. I'm really liking... I'm really liking the way my squads turned out. Obviously, they do crazy good damage. They seem pretty effective to me, so I'm happy with that. I don't think he'll be able to reach down there. Shoot. Okay, they are really tired. So I was trying a different I was trying a different playthrough because I've been playing around with some Battle Brothers, other teams, just for funsies. And I actually had a really lucky start. So I'm on day seven or eight in my other playthrough and just kicking butt, taking names. And one thing that I noticed that I quite like is I've just gone for a survival build. You know, and I'm quite happy with it. Essentially just giving everybody giving everybody dodge, giving everybody uh, actually, also, not just dodge, but what's the other one? The the one where you get to run around. Pathfinder. Because I figured I wanted somebody who could, who could you know, really do things all right and not have a problem with forests, not have a problem with anything, really. And so that seemed to work. Oh, okay, I don't like that, but I do like that. That should work. Okay. And the... The team is pretty tough. I'm, I'm surprised, sur surprised at their survivability. Giving everyone dodge seemed to be okay. And I know that it's less of a bonus when they have heavier armor on, but I've never seen anyone in this initiative drop below, say, 60. Okay? So, especially considering once you start getting heavier armor, you tend to give them that, that bonus sturdy or, or something like that where they're allowed to wear armor without as stringent or as serious a penalty. So it seemed to work out. You know, it just, it seemed to work out really quite nicely. Okay, can you move in there? Yeah, done. Hmm. I guess so. Well, didn't matter. And I'm really liking it. Just a light, fast-moving, dodgy build. And I'm really prioritizing melee defense on everyone in this other team, and it seems to be working ideally. Really? Hate that. Oh, he's just warmed up. He's just getting warmed up. Stupid bugger. Sure. Um, nothing here. Nothing here. Man, I want to get this battle over with. I don't like it. Oh, that's page down, page up. That's not what I want. I want to do right, minus and plus. You can see it's super awkward. I don't like hilly combats because of this. Super awkward. Nonetheless, we're going to just crush this man's face, and it's going to be wonderful. He won't like it, but he doesn't matter. Why does he get to go first? It's because he's still just warming up that bugger. One, two, really? 
You're going to get a headshot. I hate when that happens. When you take out their whole body armor and you hit them in the head. And you're like, bro, come on. Anywhere else. Anywhere else. Thank you. All right. How do we do for this? Did we get anything decent? It looks like the answer to that is no. We got some coin. Actually, okay. We got coin, padded leathers. I'll take it. Right, we'll take that. We'll take that, that, and that. As unfortunate as that is. Obviously, the... I would say, yeah, the, the almost perfect hand axe. We'll want those. Let's get rid of some quivers because they're worth not a lot. I'm, I'm trying to see if there's anything that's also worth not a lot. But I don't think so. I think it's quivers. Quivers are the order of the day. Alright. Bye bye quivers. Grab that, grab that, grab that. Two more? I'd like to spend those two more on not quivers. So... We got 153, 173. That's all right. And I suppose let's keep one quiver because I'm silly like that. We got some nostalgia that way. I don't think. Is that maybe a shield? Yeah, I guess the shields aren't that great. It's our most banged up shield. Get rid of the shield and switch it out for a sword. Just for the double value. Okay. It's not too bad. I really hope we... There's two raiders just to the south that we should fight. But I'll let them go. It's their lucky day. That's what it is. Take me to Grafenhaven. And don't mess with me, man. Don't mess with me. I don't, I don't want to fight in the swamp. Please, no swamp fights today. I think we're going to mostly recover. We do need more tools. Tools and goods. Oh. We've got so much stuff to sell, though. I'm going to speed up a little bit. Go gentle, go gentle. Oh my gosh. Heart attack. Oh. Battle science. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're just going, we're going to slow it down. I can't handle it right now. I just, I'm doing, I'm doing so well, but I know that because I'm rushing to the big city, I'm, I'm more liable to make a mistake here. And that can't be allowed to happen. No siree, Bob. We're going to get into Haga term. Do we want to go here? I, I don't think we do. I think we can keep on going to Grafenhaven. What? The company comes across a small boy who has climbed up a tree and out to the edge of a branch. He's reaching for a ball that's gotten stuck on the roof of his home. There's not a parent in sight to help him. When he sees you, he asks if you can help get the ball. Seems simple enough. Uh, we're just going to go with we have no time for this. Because somebody's going to fall and get hurt and I don't need that. Sorry, kid. We're, we're a mercenary company. I don't know what you expect. We're a bunch of hardened killers. On the loose. We're, we're not about that. We're not. Oh, okay. Who are you? I don't need that right now. I don't think they'll attack me. So we're just going to keep trucking. If, if one of the battalions shows up, I might join in. But that's about it. No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, well, the episode's running pretty long, so... I think we're going to end it here. And I will see you guys next time on Battle Brothers. Bye-bye.